Butch, thank you. Only on Boston 25, this Hingham ambulance has sat unused for nearly three months. The town can't use it because it says Ford will not provide the parts to fix it. We told you about a similar problem in Abington just last week. Boston 25 News reporter Jason Law here now with the battle between these towns and Ford over supply chain issues. Jason? Vanessa, right now in Hingham, if you make a 911 call for a medical emergency, there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to get a Cohasset ambulance with a Hingham crew inside. The town of Hingham had to borrow an ambulance from a neighboring town, and it's all part of a larger supply chain issue. There is dust gathering on the hood of Medic 2, a Ford F-550 ambulance that the town of Hingham purchased three years ago for $355,000. It hasn't moved since January because it needs a new engine. But Hingham's fire chief says Ford doesn't have the parts to fix it. We're being told that Ford is saying we don't have them available anywhere in the country. Chief Steve Murphy says it's a supply chain crisis impacting fire departments across the country. When Medic 2 was sidelined earlier this year, the department was forced to use older, less reliable backups. They also called in a favor and borrowed this ambulance from the neighboring town of Cohasset. How long are you able to hold on to this? Uh, as long as they allow us to, yeah. or we get our other truck repaired. The town of Abington is in the same situation. Their 2019 Ford F-550 has been out of commission since October. And we just want to get the ambulance back in service. Fire Chief John Nuttall says he's been going back and forth with Ford, and he's getting nowhere. Like Hingham, Abington only has two primary ambulances. So at times, Nuttall says they've been forced to borrow ambulances from Whitman and Norwell. That's actually affected our transport decisions with some patients because we're at such uh, risk with further damaging the older ambulances that we have now. Chief Murphy says the lack of action from Ford is putting a strain on emergency services in his town. It strains the system, you know, and EMS is already strained enough already. Today we did reach out to Ford for a response for this report, but we did not hear back. We're live tonight in Hingham. I'm Jason Law for your local station, Boston 25 News.